Zelda fans, with Tears of the Kingdom just days away, I couldn't help but go back through the Breath of the Wild soundtrack, and I have found some amazing references. Now, most of these aren't secrets. In fact, many of you probably noticed them, but I've stumbled upon what I'm convinced is one of the greatest music references in Zelda history. I'm Kevin, and welcome to Zelda Music Theory. Okay, let's start with some easy ones to get warmed up. This is the Breath of the Wild main theme. Listen to that melody. Do you guys remember hearing that theme anywhere else? Oh, it's in the same key. Same key, the main theme, beautiful. Listen to another one. By the way, that's the flat six chord where you kind of get that Lydian sound. Again in the same key. Beautiful. That's the Zelda chord, by the way. Again, not a secret, just a cool way that they've infused the theme into the whole game. Whoa! I was not planning this one. Uh, I just heard a reference to Twilight Princess. Listen to this. Did anybody know that? Okay, that was not in the script. Let's keep going. But the biggest reference to the Breath of the Wild theme that somehow I missed for like six months or almost a year is actually in Tears of the Kingdom. Now again, most of you will already know this, but for those who don't, get ready to have your mind blown. And then it redevelops into kind of its own theme. How cool is that? This theme development to kind of tell us it's sort of like Breath of the Wild, but it's something new. It's the same universe, same world, but brought to new heights. Did you know that Fee's theme plays when you get the Master Sword? I didn't know that was in the same key either. Beautiful. Listen again. Hmm, what a beautiful reference. Here's an amazing one. I had no idea. GameSpot did a video where he explains Solfege, and apparently there's a reference where Mi-Fa is Mi-Fa, and Sidon is Si-Do. Now I had trouble buying into this one until I saw this. Okay, so very, very interesting. Uh, musicians, this is a cool note. They're using what's called Immovable Do, which would make this Mi, and this fa. Check out Prince Sidon's. Yeah, there it is. How cool is that? Sound designer Hajime Wakai even confirmed this in an interview translated by Nintendo Everything back in 2019. So guys, that's why when I go crazy with all these Zelda references, I'm not so sure that it's that far off base. Shout out to GameSpot for that video. I will link that in the description. Go check it out. And speaking of shout outs, Matt Kenyon. Guys, y'all are sleeping on his videos. He's got three amazing Zelda analysis. Go check them out. They're all linked. Okay, look, I've read my comments. You guys are sharp. You don't miss a whole lot. But this next one, 
I have never heard anyone talk about it. It is my favorite Zelda music reference to date. Does anyone remember what plays when you get the final memory unlocked? This is such a good game, isn't it? Welcome, warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sick. Well, first of all, that's sick. It's a little bit lower. Something like that. That's pretty cool. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And in a major seven chord, the Zelda chord. How cool is that? I never realized that. So we get this. And then everything just moves down a whole step. So it goes from the one chord, G, down to, and then everything moves down. So an F major chord, F, A, C, with C in the bass. But the left hand stays. Again. And then it goes down one more whole step, which is actually E flat major which makes it the Zelda chord. It's the flat six major seven. Let's go, I had no idea. Okay, some of y'all are like, I know exactly where that comes from. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge. C major, still a major seven chord. You can see I got a very methodical way about thinking about music. Pretty cool. Here's the thing. That's not where this theme comes from. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Guys, comment right now if you're like, I totally know where he's going with this. Ocarina of Time. You beat the game. Right before it gets to that last cutscene where Link and Zelda face each other for the last time, rewind it like 30 seconds. Did anyone remember that? Listen again. I trust you with the task only a daughter of the Oh my gosh. That is Koji Kondo's final pencil flick before he finishes out Ocarina of Time, possibly the greatest game ever. How did nobody notice this musical reference? Are you kidding me? We're six years into Breath of the Wild, Tears of the King's about to be released, and we still haven't caught all the Easter eggs. This is ridiculous. Guys, I get goosebumps every single time I hear that theme. I have so many vivid memories of me beating Ocarina of Time with my sisters growing up, my family. What an amazing game with an amazing soundtrack by Koji Kondo, and what an awesome nod to Koji Kondo in Breath of the Wild. Please leave me a comment letting me know what you think or other stuff that you'd love to see me cover. Thank you so much to my patrons. Thank you so much to everybody who just watches and likes and shares my videos. And as always, Zelda Music Theory, out.